Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding finding the matching host and guests in a way that they are both of the same gender and nationality, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Airbnb interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the matching host and guest pairs in a way that they are both of the same gender and nationality output the host id and the guest id of the matched pair so basically we are given two data frames called airbnb host and airbnb guest and the expected output is a data frame with two different columns host id and guest id so basically all the hosts and guests that belong to a same nationality and are of same gender we need to output them right so let's preview these tables or the data frames that we have airbnb host so it has four columns right uh, host id nationality gender and age and similarly if we look at airbnb gets uh, data frame so same uh, guest id nationality gender and age so if you look at it right so the information is in two different data frames so the first thing that we should do is you know we should merge this information because at the end we need host id and guest id now how do we merge the information right so it says we should merge this based on you know where whether the host as well as the guest have same nationality as well as gender or not right so what we can do is we can use the pandas dot merge method right so what we can write is pandas so pd dot merge and then we can write the first data frame so first data frame is airbnb hosts right and then the second data frame is airbnb guests right and then if you look at it do we need to write left on right on here or we can do this using the on clause as well so if you look at the data frames right so the nationality and gender so the name of the columns is same based on which we are joining these two data frames right in both these data frames so we can you know simply go ahead and write on right and now the joining has to take place in two different columns so we need to provide a list of those columns so on is equal to and then we need to provide okay so first join on nationality it can be other way around as well like it can be firstly on gender and then on nationality it does not matter right and then gender right so once you perform this merge let's run this and let's see what we are getting right so if you look at it right, right uh, so there is a lot of duplicates in here right so what we need to do is we should drop the duplicate so we can write drop duplicates right now let's see what we are getting so if you look at it, so you have host ID, nationality, gender, age, right? And then guest ID, age, right? So now you have that, but in the output, all you only need to keep the two columns, right? Host ID and guest ID, right? So what we can do is we are only required to keep certain columns. So we can provide the list of those columns. So we can write host ID and then it should be guest ID, right? okay now let me run this let's see what we are getting okay so now if you look at it our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it now let's look at how the corresponding solution looks like in mysql okay so if you look at it same question right uh, expected output is same as well two columns host id guest id the tables are same as well if you preview this right same amount of information same number of columns in both of these so we, we need to do the same thing here that from the table called airbnb host let's alias this as h let's left join another table called airbnb guests right let's alias this as g on h dot nationality right h dot nationality is equal to g dot nationality right and right because we are merging or we are joining the tables on two different columns so we need to write and clause right so and h dot gender is equal to g dot gender let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it you also have you know uh, different values and different columns from both these tables and again uh, here you can have repetitions right so we are only required to keep the distinct combinations of host id and guest id so what we can write is here return distinct combinations of host id is in which 
टेबल एयरबीएनबी होस्ट राइट सो वी राइट एच डॉट होस्ट आई एंड देन जी डॉट गेस्ट आई राइट नाउ लेट मी रन दिस लेट सी वॉट वी आर गेटिंग now if you look at it our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it this will pass all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know from the two tables or data frames we merge the information to keep the information at one place at or one table right and then the way we merged or joined was both on nationality as well as gender columns right because we are required to keep the pairs of matching host and guest where they belong to same gender and nationality right so we did that and we only kept the distinct combination right because repetition is not allowed right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video